it's 2020 and I feel like the virus uh, is kind of taking away attention from what this year was supposed to be, right? The, this new beginning, this precipice of technology and, and, and evolution, right? I mean, we don't have flying cars or, or hoverboards or, or self-drying jackets, but, but, but we do have tech. And, and I've always, I've always liked the idea of wearing technology. I always thought that, that was the way we we're gonna go. And obviously, we have your general smartwatches and uh, <laughs> and little dips and dabs of technology, but we don't have wearable tech. You know I mean, we have somewhat advanced phones, but imagine if you could just wear your phone. You know, it's, it, I feel like it's more convenient to wear you know, your, your technology than have it in your pockets, having it get lost. You know, I mean, if you're gonna use something important to you, you might as well, you might as well take your whole hand um, and not just take the phone. You know what I mean? <laughs> the purpose of today's video is we're gonna create a wearable computer using this. This is a Raspberry Pi 4, and essentially what this is is a microcontroller. And you can essentially think of this as a mini computer, a small computer. But don't be fooled by its full appearance. This baby packs four gigabytes worth of RAM, supports 4K video at 60 frames per second, has Bluetooth 5.0 and wireless LAN. So it's it, it, it's a bad boy. It's a bad boy. <laughs> right. The first step is to load this bad boy up with the Raspberry Pi um, operating system. Newt, because <laughs> we're a newbie using this bad boy. So, yeah, let's get started. Right, so now that we've confirmed that the um, OS is installed and everything's working properly, uh, we need to cool this thing because it does get hot when you do intensive, um, anything intensive on it, so you do need to cool it. So what we're going to do is uh, install this here fan uh, to just act as a cooling system for this bad boy. So let's get it. Right, so now that we've installed the fan and uh, ensure that it doesn't overheat and make sure it's working, uh, it's time to figure out how we're going to put this and this on my wrist. <laughs> so I have a general idea. This is a, a, a wrist guard and simply the idea is to use this to mount both the screen and the Raspberry Pi. So I have the screen on the front facing and the Raspberry Pi here at the bottom. That kind of thing. And we'll see how that goes.
and we're back. Uh, I secured, I somehow managed to secure the, the, the screen and the Raspberry Pi onto the, the, the wrist brace. Uh, I just had low chin right now. <laughs> so that's basically where the government cuts down, cuts electricity to save power, whatever the hell. But anyway, um, now we're going to try it on and see if it actually works. So <laughs> let's go. So now I have the Raspberry Pi at the bottom here, um, then I have the screen on top here. Um, then I basically secured them with double sided tape here at the back, then super glued it because I didn't want to accidentally fuck up the <laughs> electronics here. Um, the Raspberry Pi for now is kind of secured at the bottom with double sided tape, but it is portable so I can remove it if I want. Um, before I secure it, I just want to make sure that the fan is working properly and there's no issues with heating and everything but yeah so far so good let's let's power it on and see what happens now moment of truth uh, we're going to insert the power right now over here okay, i can hear the fan and then let me power on the screen Okay, let's see what happens. Oh, oh, it's booting up. Okay, the screen is on. So this is a seven inch, uh, oh, there we go. Raspberry Pi powering up. Oh. <laughs> Okay, I didn't think about the weight, so standing like this is not the most comfortable position. And it's on. It is on, it's working. Let's fucking go. Uh, yeah, it works. Like, it's a touch screen, so I don't really need a keyboard. Mm. But I did connect one in, so it's easier to, like, try to put it on. Yeah, play around with. And it's got like all these features that the stylist sort of normal Pi has. So I've got the office suite. I can go on the internet. Let's see what we're working with. Internet browser. Uh, let's see. And yeah, you can use this like a regular computer while the fan is moving. That's so cool. Uh, <laughs> let me see what we got. So you can play video. Uh, browse net, uh, do some coding. Put the browser over there. Let's do a. Oh, I can make this into a web server. I have a web server on, so it's pretty cool. And yeah, that's the, the basic idea is to have this <laughs> gauntlet on. Well, to have this wrist mounted computer um, and use this as like a command center. Uh, <laughs> I feel like Kyber or, 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 or Yugi, like in Yu Gi Oh! series. Time do 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 do. <laughs> um, and yeah, this is just the the version one, right? The proof of concept. Um, the proof of concept. Uh, what I want to do is I want to improve it from here. So the first thing is, is I want to get a smaller screen because this one does weigh a bit. So if you're not a big, strong, tough <laughs> person. Uh, you could have difficulties to stay in this position. Um, I also want to have like a keyboard that pops up like that, like boom, right? And then you can just lay this down like a regular laptop computer and use it like that. And eventually I want to get to a point where I build a tech content. Uh, so I like 3D printer enclosure with the smaller screen, uh, the keyboard popping out. So I have a couple of ideas of how I want to improve this. And as you can see, I am using it while it's connected to an actual a plug at the bottom because uh, my <laughs> this I got this cheap uh, power bank which doesn't work it's, it doesn't it's not enough power to power this but uh, yeah so yeah and just get like smaller wire for more better cable management so there's a couple improvements I want to do to this and eventually I want to get to a point where I make a, 
a tech gauntlet, <laughs> for lack of a better phrase. Um, I mean, Iron Man started with with Iron Monger, and I'm not saying I'm, I'm Iron Man or anything. I'm just saying that this is a version one. It's proof of concept. And that being said, I am starting a Patreon to kind of fund the the, the, the tech gauntlet I want to build. Uh, this command center on the wrist. Uh, so if you are interested in supporting that, uh, the Patreon is in the link down below or is coming soon. Uh, and yeah, I appreciate you guys watching this and enjoying this here wrist mounted uh, computer. <laughs> Let's get it. Peace.